Hi, Jim, Mc Jim McGregor here with Curious Research, and I'm a GTC, and one of the big topics is uh, humanoid robots. I'm here with Oren, and we're talking about Epronics and their humanoid robot. So, I'm not going to make you repeat everything. Obviously, this is your alpha robot. You're doing it for uh, materials handling, both in your own facility and Mercedes. Um, how far are we away from beta? Beta will likely be out in the next 12 months. Uh, beta is really designed to scale. Yeah. And that means scale both from a manufacturability perspective, from a cost perspective, but also from a general purpose task perspective. So as you can see, we have dexterous hands on this unit. We're really looking to be able to tackle a wide range of work, work tasks. Everything from supply chain and logistics and manufacturing, but eventually moving out into other areas that require even more dexterous capabilities. What about, you know, one of the things I worry about is battery life. Yes. What's the battery life going to be on something like this? Well, on this system, you can effectively have almost infinite battery life because it will go to its charger automatically. Okay. Dock with its charger and then rotate back into the workforce. Or you could have multiple units that switch places. Absolutely. And this system is does have a hot swappable battery, and it's actually one of the only systems that has that. So we're we talking about one hour, Excuse two hour, four hours? Uh, it's, yeah, targeting a four-hour battery life. Okay. Um, depending good. on how hard the work is, uh, okay. it, it adjusts. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I have to ask you, you know, um, I think it's great that we're developing these robots to be humanoids, but let's face it. I would be better if I had four arms and four hands, not two. Yes. I mean, I think that we're just scratching the surface of the different morphologies that robots will take. But I think that to make these systems easy to swap into existing kind of tasks, tasks that are already out there in the world that's built for humans, it makes sense to start with the human form factor. And um, the other thing that's nice about that is you can leverage some training pipelines that uh, basically where you would demonstrate the task on a human and um, be able to transfer that to the humanoid because it has a similar embodiment. Well, I'd also be better with eyes on the back of my head, but you know, it's, I don't know, I, I just, I think it's great. And I think we're advancing very quickly. I'm just, I, I'm kind of waiting for that point where we say, okay, well, the humans really aren't designed that well. <laughs> we can do better. <laughs> yes. I think the number of morphologies will really explode at some point, but I think that this is a great system. If you're looking to build one robot to do thousands of different tasks, yeah. that's what this robot's designed to do. So I have to ask you, I mean, what were, you're obviously here in, not just at GTC, but you're actually in the NVIDIA booth. So what were some of the key NVIDIA technologies that went into this? Absolutely. So first of all, we built this system with Jetsons. So okay. we're using the NVIDIA Jetsons to power... Uh, basically a lot of the perceptual understanding of the world. So feeding the sensor data from our cameras into those GPUs and producing motion with that data. What um, about Isaacs? What about Ro What about Omniverse? Were those yes. tools important? Yes, absolutely. So with Omniverse and Isaac, we'll be able to do training in SIM um, across, across a wide range of different environments that we might not actually have the robot in in the real world. Um, and that will allow us to kind of quickly expand across different types of environments that might be hard to get the hardware in yeah. in the near term. Well, I would also expect the robots to be able to do more than humans. So what can it lift? How yes. much can it lift? So this was really designed around OSHA specifications. So it weighs 160 pounds, it's 5'8", but it can lift 55 pounds. That fits a pretty broad range of different work profiles. So that's really what we designed around keeping the form factor to about a human form factor and then targeting that 55 pound lift okay well thank you very much thanks so much